Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Safety Labs Ebon Commuter Cycling Helmet. Using a clever wordplay off the infamous German Autobahn, the Safety Labs Ebon Helmet is a bicycle helmet designed for commuters or e-bike riders. It has the classic e-bike or commuter style profile with some really nice features that commuters will appreciate. Now in terms of packaging, it's really basic. You can see our box took a little bit of abuse during shipping, but otherwise it's just a simple cardboard box. Safety Labs logo on here. We have the medium white variation of this. And do note that the medium size is a little bit different. So it's 55 to 58, where a lot of other brands would be 56 to 60 or slightly wider bracket. So there is really simple, not much on the box itself. I'll go ahead and take it out of the box and we'll go over the specs. As with a lot of Safety Lab products, these are really well priced. So this is only $49.99, so very cheap. It has a ABS shell with an EPS liner construction. And it uses what they call a Pro360 Fit system. So it's a dial system with a wraparound design and nylon strap. So definitely what you see with more expensive helmets. It has 15 large ventilation holes, which is unique for a commuter helmet. And then it has a built-in rear XL LED light. So that's a nice feature for a little extra nighttime visibility. And it also has this urban profile to it with a, a built-in visor for a little protection from the sun. Now in terms of what comes in the box, it's pretty simple. You just get a little plastic bag to protect it. A little instruction manual for the rear light and how to change the battery on it and operate it as well as a little simple instruction uh, owner's manual for the helmet itself. Let's take a look at the weight of the helmet. This is a size medium. So if we throw this on the scale with the rear light on there, that comes in at 392. So definitely a little bit heavier, but on par with other commuter helmets. You can see it has the classic commuter shape. So more of a dome-like with a larger rear profile that extends downward. You have the little front visor here. It's not removable plastic and that helps with the sun, but really comfortable for uh, whether you're riding around town or going to work. It's offered in a couple colors. What we have here is the white and it's actually this almost matte finish. So it looks really nice. It's available in black, gray, blue, as well as a fluorescent green. Now in terms of construction, you can tell uh, this is actually a dual layer design. So you have the EPS foam on the inside. And then you can see it's just the ABS plastic shell on the outside. The shell protects it from hard impacts or scratches, while the foam is what's really absorbing the impact in, in an accident. There is no MIPS liner here, so you can see a really simple interior, but you do have the higher end fit system, which is nice to have. Now, if we look at the, I'll start with the front, you have a lot of vents. It's a nice U shape here. So a lot of ventilation compared to other commuter helmets are usually covered up. So it's nice to have this, especially in warmer weather. A really sleek styling, minimal branding. You just have safety labs here in the bottom corners and that's about it. Otherwise, just simple engraving uh, to give it a little bit of character and a lot of vents all the way through. You have the simple white and black color scheme here with the black visor, uh, black straps, little nice details like SL here for safety labs on the buckle and then the dial system as well. So this is what they call Pro360. And it's like a lot of other uh, dial retention systems. So dual direction. You can hear ratchets in both directions. Really nice, it's adjustable. And you can see the padding on this is really thick. So that's nice to have. Unlike the other Safety Lab helmet we tried, uh, this one actually feels really plush and you can see it extends all the way through. So very comfortable. You have simple uh, cams here on the side straps. And you can see you can just open that and adjust it with a plastic buckle as you would expect with other helmets. The visor is not removable. You can see it's actually goes all the way on the inside. But otherwise a nice simple construction and for $50 it's a pretty good value. The other thing is you get a light with this. So they call this their rear XL. It's triangular shaped. You can see the user uh, interface is just a simple button. It's one click to turn it on and then another click to cycle through three available modes. You can see this alternating flash one's a nice way to catch a, a good visibility. 
and it actually protrudes slightly out, so it is visible from higher angles. What's interesting about this is also removable, but it is not rechargeable, which is a little bit weird. So if you reach inside, pull down on a strap, a little tab, and then pull really hard, you can actually remove this. So you can see simple triangular shape. It actually has a coin battery, which is a little bit unusual. But the nice thing is that this will actually dim as it dies, unlike other uh, rechargeable USB ones, which simply die. And it's really hard to see the battery status. So this is nice, one less device to recharge. And if you don't want to use it, you can actually just pop it off and uh, leave it off. Here we have the helmet on the road. It's a pretty good looking helmet, especially in the matte white finish as it stands out. And that commuter profile works out really well as it provides good coverage for the rear of your head with that front visor and a little protection from the sun. It has an aggressive front with all the air vents as well, so it makes it look like a more premium helmet. Now the taillight has three different modes. It has a flashing mode, a constant mode, and then a sweeping flash mode. As you can see, it's a little bit hard to actually modulate the button without taking the helmet off. So you definitely have to do it without gloves, but otherwise works pretty well. What I have here is the Safety Lab Eros, and this is their road cycling helmet. And you can see if we put the profile side by side, it's actually a lot more uh, aggressive on the uh, X Eros. It's a flatter top, lower profile, as designed to be sleeker, more ventilation for road cycling and a lighter design. This is an in-mold construction where you can see the foam is actually molded to the external shell. So it ends up being much lighter than the Ebon. And it is a little bit more expensive, which reflects that. But otherwise, as with other Safety Lab products, really good value. So this is a lot cheaper than other road cycling helmets. But as a commuter, you want the visor, you want the more dome-like style and the taillight. Now with other safe, with other uh, commuter helmets, we have the Koros here. You can see it has a taillight, and this is actually a smart helmet, which means it has a, a built-in speakers and Bluetooth connectivity. It's all integrated into the helmet itself. You can see the taillight doesn't have nearly as much visibility, and as with a lot of other commuter helmets, if you just look at the ventilation, where this one has 15, this one has maybe half that and much smaller. But similar profiles otherwise, you get a fabric bill, which is nicer than the uh, little plastic visor here, but otherwise really similar profiles and design. Now the Safety Labs obviously is a really much better value, uh, but you don't get some of these smart features. Another popular commuter helmet is the Thousand Chapter. This is our more aggressive commuting helmet with a MIPS liner. So you can see that if you compare the interiors, this one has the characteristic yellow MIPS liner. And what this does is actually rotates independent of the helmet. That's designed to absorb some of the rotational impact. Now, obviously this is double or more than double the price of the Ebon. So it definitely does cost more. Otherwise, very similar design. So you get the uh, little dial system wrap around. You get a fabric uh, slat, these straps. And this one actually has a magnetic buckle which is a nice feature and uh, something that matches a higher price. It does have a taillight as well, but you can see it's less well integrated and says magnetic design that can actually be popped off for recharging, which is one nice feature. Otherwise really similar again, the styling is very uh, characteristic of each other. The visor on the thousand is removable, but it does leave a little spot there. But the nice thing about the Ebon as compared to other commuter helmets is that it has a lot of ventilation where you can see this one barely has any with just the slits. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Ebon helmet. What we like about it is the affordable price. At $50, this undercuts a lot of other commuter helmets on the market. It also has large air channels for excellent ventilation so you don't get a sweaty head even in the summer. And we like the plush and wide inner padding, which makes the helmet comfortable. Some of the negatives of the helmet is the fact that the sizing seems to run a bit small. Our medium felt tighter than other medium helmets we've worn. And it is a little bit odd that the taillight is not USB rechargeable. It's a standard coin battery instead. And finally, the visor is fairly short, so it doesn't provide much coverage and can't be removed from the helmet. Taking everything into account would give the Ebon an 8.8 .8 out of 10. 
It's a really budget-friendly commuter helmet with a lot of nice features. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.